Hello everybody, um, namaste, uh, distinguished guests, panelists and viewers. Um, as much as I wanted to present in person uh, to this uh, crucial discussion, I could not as I have to travel out of my state on short notice. On behalf of the Peace Initiative Bhutan, I extend my deepest gratitude to Sapan and all the dedicated volunteers who have played an instrumental role in making this event a resounding success. As many of you know, I have been actively involved with the Peace Initiative Bhutan for quite some time now, driven by a genuine desire to bring a benevolent closure to the Bhutanese refugee issue. Um, in the late 1980s and early 1990s, more than 130,000 Bhutanese citizens, especially from ethnic Nepalese, were forcibly expelled because they could not fit into the framework of Bhutanese as per the definition of Government of Bhutan. During the early 1990s uprising, unaccounted people were killed, tortured and still missing till this time. Thousands of Bhutanese families have been divided. More than 50 political prisoners have been serving in human prison conditions and most were given life sentences. Families are unable to see them and, re and, and talk to them. The government of Bhutan does not allow Bhutanese Americans or resettled Bhutanese to visit Bhutan and reunite with their dying parents and even attend their last rituals. And, all, and close to 7,000 Bhutanese refugees are in refugee camps in Nepal without any foreign assistance and their solution is barely in sight. To address these ongoing and unresolved issues, the Peace Initiative Bhutan has embarked on a transformative journey, breaking free from the confines of reactive advocacy and embracing a new paradigm of peace building and reconciliation. <clears throat> we at the Peace Initiative Bhutan aim to cultivate a positive and enduring peace in Bhutan by sincerely addressing all outstanding issues through reconciliation, ultimately fostering a united and prosperous nation. Central uh, to our advocacy is establishing a Truth and Reconciliation Commission, which will investigate past wrongs, facilitate the writing of a short shared history, memorialize atrocities, ensure accountability, promote reparation, foster apology and nurture forgiveness. We firmly believe that beyond mere demands and conditions, we must actively participate in solution and contribute to constructing a peaceful Bhutan through reconciliation. Reflecting on the words of Mahatma Gandhi, an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. I, I, I am compelled to acknowledge that we have squandered 30 years in our pursuit of retributive justice. Now, we stand committed to building sustainable peace in Bhutan, a peace founded on unity, understanding and harmony. I wish to ex express my heartfelt appreciation to all the individuals and organizations who have involved, supported the Peace Initiative Bhutan in its noble endeavor. Your unwavering dedication and belief in the power of peace are a constant source of inspiration for all of us. Together we can overcome the challenges and forge a brighter future for Bhutan. Once again, um, my sincere uh, thanks to Sapan and every in volunteer involved in this event. Your selfless dedication contributions have been pivotal in making this undertaking a resounding triumph. Let us work and hand in hand paving the way for a harmonious and prosperous Bhutan. Thank you.